it's always funny when street dudes or rappers have ops and they ops pass away from like a car crash or like a heart attack or something like that and they start clowning the ops like they actually did something like for one even having ops is corny like you're not making a fan proud with that one it's not productive you're not achieving anything in life by having ops for two you already know how i feel about this and this it is corny it's corny dog but yeah anyway D thing goes live with Dougie B and he tries to clown E dot baby for passing away um, from a less suicide. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Yo, 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 just the African. Hold on. E dot, just E dot, E dot. Um, to me that is obviously bro that is corny dog and it shows these niggas have no kind of home training they was not raised right for one if somebody passes away for a suicide dog that's serious that's a mental health thing we all have good days we all have bad days we all have really really bad days we're not saying that we feel suicidal but you know and it, it's no telling how deep anything can go you know it's not telling how anyone feels and the mental health is something that if we're not dealing with it our parents can be dealing with it our siblings can be dealing with it our family can be dealing with it and it's something that should be taken serious like where street niggas who have options need to be talking about that kind of stuff dog it's not cool it's not cute you could find a better way to you know get your cloud or whatever dog mental health is nothing to clown like i said man for two i'll say this new york niggas are the most cockiest niggas on earth dog d thing almost went to jail for life <laughs> and he's still coming home dissing oyk he's still oyk he's still dissing opsy on the same time it's like bro went to jail did not learn anything at all dog dissing the dead and doing all being super disrespectful that could work for certain people dog when ybc duel does it it makes sense because it goes along with his brand. It makes sense. D thing, on the other hand, we look at him more like a get money fly rapper. Like it don't even make sense for him to be that disrespectful, coming that crazy, dog. E dot baby passed away from mental health. Uh, D thing got locked up. He home now. He has a second chance of a career, and this is how we coming, dog. D thing, relax yourself, man. Don't worry about E dot. Don't worry about O Y. None of that. Because if you keep worrying about O Y. You're going to forget about yourself. And a nigga like Didi Osama is going to surpass you. And once he surpasses you, he could tell the real story behind everything. It's not going to make you look good, bro. Like, if it's going to fuck with your career, you know. So, it's like a race who going to pop off first. Because if he pops off before you and he mainstream before you, it's going to look bad for you. The same way how back in the day in Chicago, um, FBG Duck and King Von, King Von popped off first. At Duck was still able to do his thing, but... Everybody fuck with King Von more. Even when Chief Keep popped off. A lot of them dudes on the other side, like Lil Mr., P. Rico, Lil J. People people rock with them, but you know, Sosa was the man. So people had to pick and choose their sides, you know. That's how it be. Digital thugs them out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.